Welcome back, sports fans. You're tuned into 88.7 Sports Radio. We've got several sports to cover, so we're going to get right to it and send it over to Chris Berman and the NFL. Most said Colts would never beat the Patriots this season, but I think they do. First quarter action, Patriots up 14-7. Tom Brady looks to throw, but gets hit from behind, and it's a fumble. Colts and Patriots fight for and Colts recover. Fourth quarter, 15 seconds left. Game tied up. Colts on their own 35-yard line. It looks like it's going to go to overtime, right? Wrong! Locked in the shotgun. Throws a bomb to Reggie Wayne, and he could go out the way. 65-yard touchdown. Luck and the Colts beat the Patriots 34-7. Here's Luck after the game. Well, I, as you might know, I, I do have a neck beard, and yes, this is my choice. And I, I, I want to clear up any confusion. If the rumors are true. I do have a piece of baloney stuck in the back of my throat. You know, I, I can't believe I was uh, the first pick in the NFL draft over Robert Griffin III. It's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. I'm just so happy to be in the NFL and to be the quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. You know, I'm, I'm no Peyton Manning, but I'm here for my team and always looking to improve, shave my head for anybody, or babysit anyone's kid. Hurrah. Here's Bill Belichick after the game. Mm, well, first of all, something you should know is I, I take pride in barely opening my mouth to talk. I don't really know what you want me to say. Colts are a good team. Play a better game than us. I wore my favorite hoodie that I stole from a homeless man in Boston, and that didn't help today. I don't like some of the calls the officials made. I don't like referees in general or even football that much. I hate the human race. I like Tom Brady though, he's cool. Clearly a tough loss for Belichick and the Patriots. Moving to the NBA, earlier Charles Barkley sat down with Phil Jackson and talked about possibly coaching the Los Angeles Lakers. Man, now this is crazy. First of all, you walk away from coaching so you can go fly fishing and be all well, that is one of my hobbies. Okay, hold on. How come I can never finish a sentence around here? Don't nobody let me finish a sentence around here? Fly fishing, though. What a knucklehead move that was. Now the Lakers have Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, and of course Kobe Bryant, and no one coaching them. Well, when you, when you hear those names, Howard, Nash, and Brian all together on one team, it's, it's absolutely exciting, but I have to ask myself, do I still have the desire to coach the game of basketball? Man, that's ridiculous. Not only do I have the desire, but can I be successful at coaching these three all-stars on one team? Now, now, now let me say something. Let me say something. You are Phil Jackson. I got three words for you. Those players are the best threesome I've seen on an NBA team in quite some time. Are you telling me you can't coach them? Man, that's terrible. That's a really bad attitude right there. Australian Open action, Rafael Nadal beat Richard Gasquet in straight sets. Here is Nadal after the match. Today was a, was a good match. I, I play Richard many times and he's a good competitor. You know, he, he, he tried his best, but he forgot that I am Rafael Nadal. You cannot beat me. I appreciate the fans for coming out and uh, showing great support. They've always been good about that. Now I play Roger Federer in the finals. Uh, what can I say? I, I am his kryptonite. We know how the outcome will probably be. Me beating him in five sets and Roger Federer will cry.